Hey everybody, welcome to the Real United States and welcome to New Carrollton Station here in Maryland. And uh, this is one of the many Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority stations that are included in our Art in Transit pro, uh, series about their program, Art in Transit. And this whole program, uh, if you haven't seen a previous episode, is designed to help add a beauty to the transportation system and to help build community in the neighborhoods where these stations are housed. So in this particular case, we have a largely exterior display, which at first glance appears pretty subdued. If you can see this splash of color on this clock tower, this obelisk of concrete, you will actually, you, if you look at it closely enough, and I didn't for many, many years, but um, this is actually a tile mosaic. And it is a work of art that was created and manufactured overseas, uh, well, created overseas and installed here in the United States. So I don't have all the particulars in my head, so let's go downstairs and take a look at the plaque that explains about the link between the artist, the architect, and where these were manufactured. So we've come downstairs next to the clock tower obelisk, if you will. And here you can see are these beautiful tile mosaics that have been appliqued onto these concrete surfaces. So here we have these obligatory bronze plaque explaining a little bit about it and I'll read that to you now. Uh, this is called Dawn and Dusk, not Dawn to Dusk, but Dawn and Dusk, by Heidi Lippmann, the artist. Ben Van Dusen was the architect and it says Franz Meyer of Munich Incorporated, Mosaic Studio, Germany and Italy. Dawn and Dusk was commissioned by Prince George's County, that's the county we're in, and funded by the Maryland Department of Transportation in coordination with the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. It was designed in the United States, and the mosaics were assembled piece by piece in Munich, Germany, and Spilimbergo, sorry about that, Italy, and installed at the New Carrollton Metro Station parking facility by Italian master craftsmen. It was dedicated to the citizens of Prince George's County and it says here January 1999. So actually these were pre-assembled overseas, brought here, and then applied to the face of the concrete. So it looks kind of small compared to the amount of space. So when you first come here, you may not even notice this as anything other than there's a little bit of decoration. But the fact of the matter is, is that these mosaics these applique mosaics are actually scattered around the parking structure and collectively they cover quite a big amount of area. So let's go over and take a quick look at some of the rest of it. Now as I said these mosaics are actually scattered around on the parking structure and if you look carefully here on some of the columns that are just supporting the structure of the parking garage you'll see a few small individual ones that have been applicated on here. And this particular column there on the first and the third floor, I think that's probably fairly typical of what they've done here. And they aren't on every other, every column. Here it looks to be every other column scattered around the entire periphery of this otherwise just big piece of cast in place concrete. So as I had said, the largest of these applique mosaic, a mosaic is a design that's made out of small pieces of tile that are all glued together to make a pattern. Well, in this case, they were glued together and then on a very thin, or relatively thin masonry substrate, and then shipped here so they could be applique onto the building itself. So they start right here at the ground floor, and the largest collections of them are actually on these towers, which have stairways wrapping all the way around them, but in the, in the tower itself, this is the elevator shaft for the parking structure. So there, you know, there's really no good way to make a piece of cast-in-place concrete you know, look appealing in and of itself. 
It's durable, it's inexpensive, it's long lasting. It's great stuff to work with, but it is not terribly appealing uh, aesthetically. So having this, this, this splash of color made out of so many different little pieces has really added a lot to it. So as I said, these mosaic tiles were appliqued on the side of what is essentially a concrete elevator shaft on every floor. And we're on the fifth floor of this facility and it actually goes up another story, but that's closed off to the public because it's actually the door for the service area. We'll show you that in a minute. But these go all the way around on this corkscrew of a stairway that goes around the outside of the elevator shaft here at the New Carrollton Station. And in fact, there are four places, and I don't know if they all have elevators, but they all have stairs here that have these mosaic tiles. So collectively, there is a ton of these panels that have been applied and a ton of a ton of little tiles that were in place. So I imagine this was a very large project. So Bev's gonna step over here and hand me the camera. I'm gonna give you a kind of a pan if possible of the tiles stretching all the way down the side of this shaft so you can see that they sort of follow the stairs and there's patches of them all the way up here. And of course, all the way following the stairs around as you were to move on down. So you can see here where the tile mosaics wrap all the way up to the very pinnacle and actually become much larger and more closely packed and dense around the very top of these columns, these elevator shafts. And again, this is not open to the public. This is the service door for the elevator service technicians. But from down on the platform, down in the front of the station, you can see this very nicely. So it was, you know, it was planned to be able to see from that distance. And as we come around, I'm gonna show you that there are in fact, well, four of these columns at least this one's a little tough to see because it doesn't wrap fully around on this particular side, but it is displayed around on the other sides of that. On the far end of the building, you'll see there's another elevator shaft and a stairway. And the same thing, we have these thousands, tens of thousands of little tiles that have been made into these panels and then placed all the way around to give this concrete jungle otherwise boring looking piece of gray, some kind of color and some kind of beauty. And then finally here, this one is just a stairwell. I don't believe there's any elevator at this particular position. There's two elevators and two additional stairways. But again, decorated with this whole thing. And collectively, from a distance, you get to see all of these from the platform. I don't know if they tie together all that well at that distance, but I think that was probably part of the intent. So anyway, I'd like to thank you for joining us here on The Real United States at New Carrollton Station in Maryland for part of our Art and Transit series that the Washington Metro Area Transit Authority has is ongoing. I don't know if there's an interpretation of this work of art it's pretty, it's certainly prettier than just the plain concrete. But if you got questions or comments, hey, leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from all of you. I'll do the best I can to answer them. I try to get back to everybody I can. If you're new here, hey, pick subscribe, come along for the adventure, because we've got lots more to show you. And as always, thank you for watching.